So here is the FX2 Ultimate Mini. It's a very uh, small shape video transmitter. It's very cool, looks very nice. And this is the last, the previous one, the previous version. This is the FX2 Ultimate. And this version is a stakeable board, so you can put it on top of the, of the flight controller or anything you have in your stack. So you'd have to, you know, put that on the side of your frame or whatever. I also have the uh, X2 Ultimate, which is mounted in my drone. Here it says X2 Ultimate, yes. This is also a small form factor version of the FX2 Ultimate. It has, I will say, the same functionality, exactly the same functionality, but all the components are, are uh, arranged in a way that it fits in a smaller board. I don't know if you are able to see that there, but it's really cool. I prefer that one because I already have a very big tower there, so this won't fit in my drone, in my stack there. So that's that's the previous one. And then they came up with the new one. Uh, so the FX2 Ultimate Mini is this shape. So it's, it's almost half of the size of the FX2 Ultimate. The only thing I don't like is that they didn't include the, the connector, this cool connector that is very strong and very nice, very handy also, but they decided instead to put cables and just solder the wires in place. I don't know why, but anyways, I don't need that that much because when I solder these video transmitters on my drones, I don't usually have to unplug them from them so whatever what i do like about this ones is that it has a 12 volts output and also the 5 volt out output make sure to not use both at the same time and to connect the right output to your camera depending on your camera if your camera is 12 volts or uses 5 volts connect it respectively to the correct output they're still using their smart audio and it this one accepts up to 25 volts of input from 7 to 25 volts so it's very good i like it i don't like the the connector issue but it's okay it's a very small form factor and it's cool it has the mic and all the other characteristics that the fx2 ultimate includes and very important the power output of the signal is very something that we have to talk about let me get the instructions and here it is. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this later, the yellow thing. But we can select from 25, 200, 600 milliwatts of power. So we have these three options. We can select those with one button here. So, you know, if you press three seconds and stuff. So, um, yeah, 25 milliwatts for the standard racing drone stuff. 200 milliwatts to be more confident and 600 milliwatts for mind-blowing range. And then we have these yellow um, channels here that are blocked by default because they're not working. By the way, if you are in the United States, you cannot get this version right now because they are not selling or shipping to US for some legal regulations or something like that. But you can get the FX2 Ultimate and the X X2 Ultimate still so make sure to get this instead they are very similar they just don't have a um, few things like the 12 volt output but this one is very cool um, also 1200 milliwatts that's also something that comes locked by default but you can unlock these things including these channels here that i don't care i care the most about the 1200 milliwatts of power output but they say that you have to get a license and all this legal stuff that you have to be aware of so you know be aware of that so you're able to to unlock this in here by following a procedure but because of the FCC regulations, it is blocked by default, so be aware of that. Then we also have the AKK FX3 Ultimate. This is a brand new board, is a very cool video transmitter for FPV. And this is clearly made for, mine, for mini drones. As you can see, the shape and the size 
So we're talking about uh, 26 millimeters by 26 millimeters. And as you can see, this is a standard one. This is a standard shape, stackable, stack, stackable. I don't know how you pronounce that. This is a standard stackable uh, board. And this is the mini size. As you can see the difference there. So this is very cool, this is brand new. As you can see, it doesn't have the same components. They have to redesign and redo a lot of stuff here because the components are totally, totally different. Uh, this block is not here, of course. They replace it with something else. I'm not an expert in electronics, but I can tell. So uh, the connectors are the same, so you can use your MMCX connectors. The cool thing about this, let's get the instruction manual to see all the, the characteristics and stuff. It runs up to 600 milliwatts. That's the very cool thing about this. 600 milliwatts on this little tiny board for video transmitters. So we have 25, 200, 400, and also 600 milliwatts. All in one little board this size. It's very, very small and also lighter than the FX2 Ultimate Mini. So we have also the same issue with the frequencies. There are just three frequencies that are locked just by the FCC regulation stuff. Uh, I, I do believe this is not shipped to the US yet. So I don't know, I think they're working on it. So these are the two new boards from AKK. I'll really like the new one, the new design. And well, I'll guess I'll show you some tests from these two boards. So I wire up the boards and did a little test. The first thing I didn't like was selecting the power outputs and the channels and stuff because you don't know where you are and what settings are in the board right now because they have just little LEDs. They're just on or off in the instruction manual. They tell you what they mean and it's not nice. So I don't know why they did that in the new version. In the last version, they had a seven segment display which displays numbers and stuff so you can see what channel you are and stuff like that. And that was a lot better. But to be honest, I would use the Smart Audio instead. So I think that's not a problem at all. Now, I didn't test the signal quality because I think it falls into the standard signal quality for most of the video transmitters out there. With the proper equipment for receiver and receiver antenna, one guy went and flew out 25 kilometers using 1200 milliwatts with little decay on the signal. So that was a huge accomplishment with these kind of transmitters. And lastly, and very important issue is the temperature when we're using the 600 milliwatts and 1200 milliwatts as power outputs because they get really hot. So we have to consider using a heat sink to lower the temperatures a bit. Now that's easy with the FX2 Ultimate Mini, but with the FX3 Ultimate it's a lot harder because the components and electronics are like exposed or something like that. So I don't know where to place the heat sink. So that's why I wouldn't recommend using 600 milliwatts on the FX3 Ultimate unless you know what you're doing and if you have a proper cooling or using it for a short period of time. By the way, if you're asking yourself, why the heck do I have Joy Planes RC in here when this channel is called Create an Event? That's because this is my main channel, it's in Spanish, so if you want to check it out, it's called Joy Planes RC. And I'll, I'm thinking to get a custom mat with uh, creating an event um, logo or whatever in my crafting mat. But yeah, so this is my other main YouTube channel in Spanish. If you want to check it out, that's why I have Joy Plans RC here. Now, that was it for the review. I hope you liked it. Check out the channel for cool projects with electronics, RC airplanes, drones, and much more. Then you can consider subscribing if you liked it. I'll see you in the next video.